We have completed moving the orange nodes for all the outlines and have excluded the arms. Now it is time for tracing the exact contours of your body using the smooth nodes. Select the Edit Smooth Points tool, the last tool at the bottom left of the photography window. Now you will drag the aqua nodes to copy your exact shape. You may need to readjust some orange nodes at the same time. The full length line should not extend past the body outline. Follow your side neck tape and blend to the body outline. Be sure to keep the armhole inside the lines of the arm. Do not follow the armhole of whatever you are wearing. The crotch curve line is used for pants to measure your rise. It should extend smoothly from the front abdomen and from your back curve. Think of it as the pant rise shape. If you make it too far away from your back curve, your pants will cut up your crack. We have now finished all the body smooth points and just have the arms remaining. To see the outline without all the nodes, select the top arrow at the left. Click anywhere outside the drawing to deselect it, and then zoom into each photo to see if you like the tracing. Select the second arrow again and turn off the smooth nodes. For the side arm, you need to work in the order of biceps, elbow, and then wrist. Drag the bright green biceps node and center it between the sides of your arm. Move the bright green elbow node to your elbow marking and center it. Move the bright green wrist node to your wrist marking and center it. There is only one biceps node on the outside edge of your arm. Moving it will move both sides of your arm at the same time. You may need to readjust the center node. The outside elbow nodes are not attached to the elbow horizontal line, but try to keep the nodes at the line.
The wrist works the same as the biceps, with only one node to adjust. Adjust the remaining pale green nodes of the arm, and then the smooth nodes. The front and back view arms work in the opposite order from the side views. You need to adjust the wrist first, then elbow, then biceps. The underarm biceps point should stay on the armhole level line. The horizontal biceps line should stay at the underarm biceps node. If you can't see your full biceps line because it is too close to your body, you will need to estimate its width and overlap your arm outline over your body outline. Once the outline is complete, you should save several copies of it. I like to save it three times, one to keep as the symmetrical outline, one to keep as the asymmetrical outline, and one to keep saved in step six with the photos so the outline can be adjusted later. After saving, choose symmetry or asymmetry, and then click next to see your outline and start viewing garments.